start by finding the center of the piece of plywood. So starting off with the IOD stamp, now that we have our center, you can imagine just getting your ink on your stamp here and then just lining it up with the lines you've created to get BAM. And this is how I achieved this look is just by using the stamp as is. We can use the stamp in different ways to get a different tile all together. Like for instance, all the centers meet here, but what if all the centers meet, met here? So if I just put ink on one of these and put this arrow shaped thing in the middle and stamped that all the way around, you get a different tile altogether. See, I started that a tile ahead of here. Or let's just, I'll just show you. Let's just do it. So, there, that would normally have been the center, but we are making it the center top instead of the center center. So I just flip that around, line that up again. I'm going to show you on this piece all the steps I used to get to the project. So, as you can see here, there's all my lines. So I'm going to trace them. I feel like kind of like drag trace, it's really fast. I really do feel like I'm typing cake. Here I laid that bead of hot glue directly on the line, but like see where these lines are really close? I'm gonna actually try to get like on the edge of my ink. Kind of just like mentally map out your your project before you start. Yeah, I prefer to work towards myself so I can see my lines as I'm working. And there. Okay guys, I managed to get the foil on and just look at it. Ooh, it is beautiful. But of course I'm gonna try and play with it some more and do some more with it. So what I'm planning on doing here is just giving it a little aged look. So I'm just gonna pour some water on it. And I have some bronze paint. And I'm just going to trace the outlines of the lines and let the water pull that away as it will. Some places I'll just tap to encourage it. You could use like an aging wax, but I chose to use a metallic color just so it's not taking away from the shine. And this will also allow all the dimension and shape that we've created with the hot glue tracing our lines to like really pop and stand out. And I'm not even gonna do it to all the lines necessarily. The whole tile's not all gonna age the same. Probably paint the entire edge with the metallic paint. You could even break up the design and paint different color blocks. Yeah, so you can get the idea there. I'm also gonna show you, I painted one entirely silver with silver metallic paint. What I thought I'd try to do with this one is kind of make like a faux tin tile effect and let's see how that works out because I haven't given that a try yet. But this is just some marzipan mist mustard seed milk paint and just gonna slop it on and then I'm gonna wipe it off and see what that looks like. Yeah I feel like if I would have used silver foil this would be amazing but I think I do like that though. I think I wiped off a little too much though. So just gonna try to wipe off the top. Oh, sorry. I think I'd actually go back in later when I have some um, foil glue and put it on all the high spots and then put foil over top again. Yeah, I think you could get many different looks using this. It's really fun. Okay, so I'm just going to show you them finished. And this one has the Miss Mustard Seed Milk paint on it and some bronze paint to give it an age effect. There's a little bit of resin on there I just poured from a leftover project. And then there's also this silver version. 
And uh, when I do have some more glue, I will be putting some silver foil on this to give it more shine. And then lastly, we have just the gold one with the bronze paint for an age effect on the perimeter of the tile. Put in the comments which one is your favorite. Okay, and if you know anyone who would be interested or would like any of my videos or this video in particular, just share that. And if you liked it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.